Hi everyone, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I made this card using the dies from... Oh, I had it in my head a minute ago. Blossoms and blooms. Yeah, Blossoms in Bloom. That's a stamp set. I didn't get the stamp set because I've got most of these stamps. But I did like the dies. There they are there. So I've got the dies. And this is what I've made with them. This card. Now this wasn't the first card I made. The first card I made is this card. This is for another daughter whose birthday is the week after next. So that's what I made. Hers is on a 6x6 six six. and then I wanted to make it a 6x4 six and I've come up with this. It does overhang just a tiny bit there but that doesn't matter. It still goes in an envelope. Right, to make this card, obviously I use them dies. I also use the stamp set poppy, painted poppies because I wanted the splatter dots for the background. And I used Clubhouse for the happy birthday. I know it's retired, but I wanted a happy birthday. It would go in that. Um, the classic label punch, this punch. The butterfly has come from an old stamp set. Uh, this one, Papillion Popuri, and I used that butterfly. You can tell this is old wood, it's the only wood set I had. Very first stamps, it wasn't the very first stamp set I bought, it's one of the first. And I also got the punch to go with it, and obviously, I haven't got rid of it yet because I still use it. Um, I did try the gala bing the gala bingo, the gala butterflies, but I felt they were too big. So and I wanted a little bit smaller, so that's what I've used. But you can use any butterfly if you copy this. I copied this from, well, not exactly like this, but there is a few on Pinterest like this. Um, but that's where I got the idea to put it on a card base. Right, the card I'm using, I've got a white card base of five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter, score at four and one eighth, and burnished in the middle. Now, I can hear you saying, why aren't you using a gorgeous grape card base? The reason is this is a bit thin for quite a heavy die piece to be sitting all over it. It will just topple. So I have got this. is 4 and one eighth by 5 and 7 eighths. And I am just going to stick that on the front of that card. And then that will be on there more stable. Um, I've already cut out the bits, but I'll show you what I've done. I mean, here's the one I've cut out and we're going to use. And that will sit on there like that. But, um, this underneath bit, I brushed. I didn't want to use Purple Posy like I did there. So what I thought I'd do, I got a white piece of card. A big piece of scrap here. And I got um I think it was purple posy I got. It 
some purple posy ink. One of my brushes, the purple one. And all I did was went over the whole card with the ink brushed on. Obviously I did it nicer than what I'm doing now. And then I got the dye and sat it on top and cut it out. And that's how I got the inside of this. And then obviously I cut this one out in white. Now when I got cut out this one, I broke it. So I had to do it again. Which I did. And then I cut out another white one just in case I broke it again when I got it out. So I did that, but I just cut it in white. And then I thought, oh, I'll um, colour this one in, in Highland Heather and see which one looks the best. I preferred the Purple Posy. But I'm left with this. Now, when I went over this with the brush, I just put it onto a piece of card, like that, and went over it with the brush coloured it in and look what I was left with underneath. Can you see that? Isn't that lovely? So I've kept this. I'm going to make a card out of that. Put that on a card base like that. A sentiment on it. Jazz it up a little bit. I don't know what. I think of some of that. And I think that'll make a lovely card. Leave that with me. I'll think of something for that. So I have got left with this. I might cut another um what colour is this? Gorgeous grape out of the thin ones and put it on top, I don't know. But I will use it somewhere. So that's there, that's that. That can go back in here. Now obviously I've put these in a wallet because they're far too big if I had the stamp set. You never know, I might change my mind and get it. I do like this one. I do like these dies. So I've got that and that's going to sit on there like that. But first we need to stamp underneath with our splatter dots. So I didn't stamp off or anything. I concentrated on the corners first because they're the ones that are mainly seen. Then I did the edges, then I did up the middle. Now as you can see, that goes on there nicely. Right, I am going to put a bit there and a little bit in that corner. That'll do nicely, I don't want to overdo it. Right now, the sentiment. I can't make my mind up whether to do it on Purple Posy or Gorgeous Grape. What I'm going to do is punch them both out and see which one I like. Of 
I mean, I could have done another blue one. But I didn't want two blue ones. And we can a bit dark. That looks all right. And I've also got this butterfly. Don't like that butterfly on this one. I don't even know if I like that. No. What about a white one? Let's try a white one. Keep putting the uh, happy birthday up upside down. Now that's better. Yeah, I like the white one. you're all saying hurry up make your mind up <laughs> or shouting at me what color right really quick and easy card this only because I've got it all out but what I will do if you want well, you've got no choice really because you can't answer me I think that'll do. I want it this way. And I need some. Dimensionals because if that's going to sit there, I need twenty one there. will obviously sit between the raised bits that one's not that's 
it. I don't like that. I'm going to have to just do one in purple, but I'm going to leave that like that. I'm not going to put a butterfly on that one. I'm just going to leave that like that. I'm quite happy with that one. Now, this. I am going to use one of them. Use the butterfly on that one. But put some um things in the middle. Give me a minute. Alright, so I've got floral essence here and the centre of the flowers. And I'm just going to add that to the centre of these flowers. That one didn't stop very well. A little tiny one now. Sure, there's a little tiny one. What do you think? Let's get a card base. What did I do with this dark one? Oh, I can't make my mind up. That's because that one's not stamped properly. I'll leave that like that because I can't make my mind up about this. 
but I think it'll be something like that. Tell me what you think. Maybe I should have bought that one idea, I don't know. Anyway, that is my card for today. This one. <laughs> it's a purple one. Well, I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you uh, press the bell button, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.